it's my birthday! <laughs> Hello, hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my birthday vlog. <laughs> um, it is currently three minutes past midnight, four minutes past midnight on the 28th of January. I wasn't gonna open a birthday present, um, but screw it, I'm already, I'm awake, I couldn't fall asleep. So we're gonna open my presents from the lovely Laura before I go to bed, um, and then I will sleep for like seven hours and then you will see the rest of the presents. Um, there is quite a stack here from you guys, and I have just been so spoiled. Um, I can just thank you all from the bottom of my heart before I even start opening these, it's crazy. Um, so thank you all so, so much. And let's jump in to my presents from Laura. Laura is an absolute sweetheart. Um, so I can see that there is a book and three things here. So let's start off as we mean to go on with the book. Imagine if it wasn't a book. <laughs> a book shaped gift that isn't a book. Okay. Oh, there are bookmarks in here. Okay, okay. Oh, she didn't. She's Got Me After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have not read this one yet, which is very exciting. And Laura loves Taylor Jenkins Reid. And um, I can't talk too much about all of the books here or we will be here forever. So we have a Taylor Jenkins Reid, thank you, Laura. And we have two bookie weirdo bookmarks. And I absolutely love these, they're always so funny. Oh, so this one says Hopeless Romantic. <laughs> and this one says A Spankingly Good Read. Oh my God. Thank you, Laura, those are great. Okay, I wanna do this, literally no idea what else she could have got on me. Oh, how cute. It's some Alice in Wonderland little tea sets. Little tea tins. Those are adorable. So English afternoon, Earl Grey and English breakfast. And this heart-shaped tea strainer, how cute. We have, we have two. I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, it's what I thought, it is a bath bomb. Stop. It is an avocado on toast. Look at that. Oh, it smells amazing. And it's very fitting because I'm sat here with my avocado and toast hoodie to keep me warm. Okay. And this little last, this little last one. Oh, I'm like already so excited to open the rest of these. Do I even go to bed? Shall I just open them? No, I need to go to bed. Oh, is it a, it's a wax melt words. It's sadly. Is a teeny tiny bit smashed in delivery. But this is sugared blossom. And when I tell you it smells amazing, it smells amazing. So Laura, you sweetheart, I, I now want to open all my presents. Okay, this is editing Chloe just hopping in to do a massive apology. I am looking for the gifter of the book that's coming up and the bath bombs. I believed it was a Chloe that I had spoken to like the day before, um, but I have not found out who this Chloe is. So please do get in touch if it's you. I am so grateful for you. Shall I do one more? I'll do one more. I'll do one, one more, okay? And that's because I know what one of them is. This was one of the first ones that arrived and um, I know exactly what it is because there's only one thing on my wish list that is this shaped. Um, and it smells like this. So this came from Amazon. Uh, what you will see through this video is I have wrapped all of my Amazon parcels just so I didn't have to look at brown boxes for like three weeks. This one has been stinking out my living room in the best way. Trying to not show my address. It's so, it smells so babbly. We have a big bath bomb gift set. So this is I Come Bearing gifts. Mmm, it smells amazing. There are seven in here. Oh wow, let's have a look what's inside the bag. Okay, this would explain why the smell is so strong. There is powder leaking from this bag, so I believe one at the bottom may have been demolished. I think it's this one. I think there's a hole in this, but it's a little cupcake. Okay, I need to put this down. So I was so distracted by the leaking white powder that I did not get the notes. Also love me bath bomb, so enjoy a book in the bath from Chloe. I'm gonna assume this is Chloe H. That's just what I know you as in my head, I'm so sorry, you're Chloe H. Um, I'm gonna text you in the morning and I assume that the book that arrived a very similar day is also from you. We will find out tomorrow. Good night. 
it is the next morning and I've actually come to sort out these bath bombs. Um, so these are pictures of what these should actually look like when the dust settles. But there they are, there these are, and I'm so, so grateful. So thank you, Chloe. I look a bit fresh. It is about quarter past seven on my birthday. Um, I'm just sat here, I've got my cup of tea, thinking of you, Kayla, as always. And I wanna open the rest of my presents. I'm gonna start, start a stack of books. Oh, I need you in the right place though. There we go. Okay, so this one, which I believe is with the bath bombs, ow, just hit myself with it, is gift wrapped. Okay, so this says, enjoy your gifts. I love watching your videos from Chloe. If it's a different Chloe and I haven't acknowledged you, I'm so sorry, but I will be asking her shortly after. So what do, oh, yes, it is. I'm a therapist and my patient is in love with a paedophile by Dr. Harper. This is the second Dr. Harper book. The first one is um, I'm a therapist and my patient is gonna be the next school shooter. Looks really interesting. Um, so this is six patient files from prison. Exciting. Thank you, Chloe. The thing is, I have no idea what order these came in at. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. Uh, this gift wrap one is from Katie. So this came a long time ago with the bars of Tony's Chocoloni. And I have been really good and waited till now saying that I can't get into the bag. Okay, we are in. Ooh. Crushed it. Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm already seeing a trend with books. Um, I can't actually remember what this one is about. Instant chem chemistry between Elsie and Ben. Only nine days later, Ben is out riding his bike when he's hit by a truck and killed on impact. Sounds like it's gonna break my heart, like every Taylor Jenkins Reid, so thank you, Katie. And yes, I'm making a list. Okay, let's go with this one. I've been so well controlled not to open these, like genuinely proud. Oh, we have another giant bar of fruit and nut because when Mal, um, when Mal bought it me, I put it back on my wish list. And this is from Kayla. Happy birthday, my love. Sending you all the happiness and love on your special day. You deserve the world. Lots of love, Kayla. Thank you very much, Kayla. I love you. I wish this would keep focusing on me. This is getting a bit annoying already. Okie doke. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, yes. That was not the noise I meant to make. Barbarian um, Alien. Yes, I got really confused on what number this is then. This is number two in Ice Planet Barbarians and these editions are gorgeous and I stand by it. So this is from, this is from Becca. Yes, well done Becca. Happy birthday, you know there's no way I couldn't pass up getting you this when I saw it on your wish list from Becca. You are completely right, obviously. There is no other option. So I have read this one, I enjoyed it. I'm collecting the nice copies of these books. And I have no shame. Next up, this one, and I know this has been here a while because it's a weird shape. As in the box, let me bend it. So I hope it was actually bendable. Okie doke. Oh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. This is Influencer Island by Kyle Rutkin. I don't even know who I heard about this from. It just sounded really intriguing. Crazy Mal, I had an arc of this and loved it. That's who it's from. Hope you do too. Happy birthday from Crazy Mal. Mal, what else can I say to you at this point? Cause you know you're in trouble. So next up, let's do some different paper. I feel like this is candy kittens. I feel like it's gotta be. It was not. It is dairy milk orange buttons. Perfectly good <laughs> alternative to it being candy kittens. And these are from Kayla. Thank you so much, Kayla. More chocolate to go with your gift. I love it. Okay, let's go for this one. There are so many presents here. You guys completely spoiled me. And, oh, can't get one perfect, can I? Ooh. We have Rose West, The Making of a Monster. Um, random true crime moment. It turns out there are more people than I thought in my town that know Froze Rose West, i.e. are their daughter. Um, and yeah, just heard so much more about Fred and Rose lately. Um, they were serial killers in Gloucester, which is actually where I'm spending my day today. Exciting. So who got me some more true crime? Chelsea. 
Oh, you sweetheart. Chelsea, if no one knows, has um, just popped out a human. So we did not expect this at all. But enjoy your gift, <laughs> Rose West. Happy birthday. Sorry it's not much lovely, but I want to get you something anyway. You do never, you do never, you do not ever need to apologise. Thank you for some creepy true crime. I'm very excited. And enjoy is appropriate because I will enjoy. I will enjoy. Okay, we have another one. This is a very weird shape. Okay, no, it's just a book and some stickers. Just. It's a book and some stickers, but I think the stickers threw it off. The book I have, this has to be from a, a few people I can think of. This is Dark Lover by J.R. Ward, which is, um, I believe, Vampire Smut. I believe Vampire Smut. I'll, I'll be looking into it, obviously. And some Clever Fox Planner stickers. Oh, these are cute. I can already see how cute they are. I do not have a Clever Fox i do not have a clever fox planner if the people at clever fox would like to sponsor me that would be much appreciated but these are the seasonal ones so it does like every event so we have a little christmas page and a little holiday travel page ah, they will come into great use so if i had to put a name on this i'm gonna say it's either crazy mal or adrian it's crazy mal of course it is happy birthday hope this brings you some journaling joy i'm sure it will and happy birthday, I have this book and I'm intrigued to start this series, so maybe a buddy read. You bet, crazy mouth. You bet. Okay, still going. This is heavy. Like, actually heavy. And it is, oh, oh it's a hardback. Oh, is this what I think it is? This only went on my wish list like three days ago. It is The It Girl by Ruth Ware. Oh my God, it is signed. It is signed. What? Who did this? I didn't even know this was a thing through Amazon. Amy, happy birthday, Chloe. Hope it's an amazing year full of new adventures, fun, and lots of five-star reads from Amy. Amy, you're adorable. How did you even get that? Thank you. Okay, this is another hardback or a self-published book. This is heavy. Maybe I'm just weak. Here we go. Oh, it's open, okay. Ooh, it's time to give this author another go because we have the mysterious case of the Alperton Angels by Janice Hallett. The Appeal is a five star favorite. The Twyford Code is gonna be on my worst books of the year. So I really wanna give Janice Hallett another show. Another show, another go at impressing me. This looks like many different types of mixed media and I feel like I'm gonna like it. This is from Joe and Elfie. Happy birthday, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Joe, and thank you for specifying who Alfie is this time. I'm sorry that I was a bit confused at Christmas. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you and Alfie so much. Okay, I have had these two from Freya for the longest time. So let's find out what this lovely human even got gift wrap for me. She's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Waga? Waga? not 100 percent sure there um this is a ya contemporary i believe physics nerd azel and popular handsome rowan are practically strangers but they've been drawn into an unthinkable partnership in one month's time they plan to commit suicide together well that's dark but i'm excited and this one the house across the lake by riley sager i am so behind on reeling reading riley sager but i've heard that this one is really really good so ah so exciting and still going wrapping all these presents is like a really good idea at the time less of a good idea now we have there are two books in here wasn't expecting that because it's very very thin the first one is what moves the dead by t kingfisher this looks so creepy look at that i can't even tell you what appealed to me about this it looks creepy that's what we need. And what also looks creepy is this next one, Things We Say in the Dark by Kirsty Logan, alone in a remote house in Iceland. I'm here for it. So who wants me to have some more creepiness in my life? I can think of who it could be. It's Kayla, yeah, <laughs> it's Kayla. Thank you so much for these, Kayla. Continuing on, we still have so many left, guys. <laughs> I've been filming for 18 minutes. I also really wanna savor these and slow down, but it's too exciting. Oh, I don't think my nails can get into this one. There we go. This is gift wrapped. Oh my God. The gift wrapping always like moves me so much. I don't know why. It's because it's so unnecessary. This is from Kitty. It does say happy early birthday, but you know, I'm opening it on my actual birthday, Kitty. So I have succeeded in not making this early. It is, it's self-published, I think. 
Oh, Still Beating by Jennifer Hartman. It says a dark romance novel. And I heard about this from Chelsea, from Chelsea Palmer. And she's good at her very dark romance. So thank you, Kitty. Next up, the pile of wrapping has now fallen onto me. This is gift wrap too. Kitty, don't tell me you did double gift wrapping if this is from you as well. Roxy? Happy birthday, beautiful lady. I hope you have an amazing and special day. May you be spoiled like crazy as you deserve. Roxy, you did all my spoiling. You weren't supposed to spoil me anymore. Stop. If anyone remembers the vlogs, Roxy literally spoiled me like mad. My God. Okay, what do we have? Oh, I see it. It's like dark romance. Roxy smashed it. It is There Are No Saints by Sophie Lark. And he's the hottest sculptor in San Francisco. Oh my God, the love interest is called Cole. Not even reading more excited and thank you roxy for continuing to spoil me even though you know that you're in trouble okay we have one two three four five left before we have two from faith which aren't from my wish list and a couple little bits i have from a lady from work and my auntie and uncle which i will still open in the vlog because why the hell not okay this little cute parcel i love this one this could be anything Oh, it is born darkly by trisha wolf this is another he loved her to the brink of madness. <gasps> Roxy, enjoy your gift. I couldn't help it. Stopping at one doesn't make sense. My brain must make them even numbers. Love you lots, my friend, and sending hugs. Roxy, trouble. Well, at least I know there's no more Roxy. Because <laughs> she would be in serious trouble. We now have, oh, this looks cute. <gasps> weather girl by rachel lynn solomon which i must have heard about from heather from bookables because that's who i always hear about these sorts of cute contemporaries from and this is from nicola happy birthday chloe have a fantastic day thank you blah, blah, blah. thank you for providing a fantastic patreon community have the best day nicola you are so welcome and i can't even accept full Thanks for that, because it is you guys who make it fun. Okay, three more until we hit the insane unknowns. And we have, ooh, creepy. The Echo Man by Sam Holland. He copied the world's most evil killers. Now he's ready to outdo them all. This seems creepy. Obviously, I would have thought that when I originally put it on my wish list, but this seems creepy. This is from Laura. Happy anniversary. I know it's another book to add to the shelves, but hopefully it'll make you smile. Laura. You didn't need to do that. And um, for anyone confused, mine and Cole's anniversary was like two weeks ago. That's so cute, why? These final ones must be the parcels that have been here a long time. This one is a hardback, I'm sure. The weight. It's gift wrapped. In a gift wrap color I have never seen before. How exciting. This, oh, I think it's self-published actually. I don't think it's a hardback. From Freya? The camera cut me off because I've been talking too long and it cut me off in the middle of my Freya. What the hell? Another one from Freya? Have you not spoiled me enough, Freya? Oh my God. Oh, it's chunky. <gasps> Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I have heard this is messed up dark fantasy, not fantasy, dark romance. The manipulator. I didn't, oh, I can manipulate the emotions of anyone who lets me. I'm ready. I like literally I don't understand some of you people how are you this nice to me okay the last one before the unknowns it's kind of weird because like these are from my wish list so I must have known about them at some point so it always makes me very intrigued to see what I'm gonna get if someone's just picked it for me this is making strange noises I do not know what's in here oh my god this is why it's three bags of eaten mess candy kittens. That is why I was making such a strange noise. So who has spoiled me in the form of candy kittens? It doesn't say. Hopefully I would have found out and put it on the screen. I don't know who sent these. Okay, so then we have two that I've written Faith's name on because they're from Faith and she said she went a bit rogue. So let's find out what rogue means to Faith. I'm actually quite intimidated. I think I just recognized what this is. And it's one that I've been umming and ahhing whether to get myself. Because it's gorgeous. It is Tomorrow, Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Is that how you say it? Um, 
Oh, just look. I have been looking at this every time I go in a bookshop for months. Like since I met Victoria in whatever month it would have been when I was doing college and it came out and I keep looking at it and I didn't buy it. And now I own it. Faith, you are just great. Okay, so I checked your Goodreads and I don't think you have this, but I loved it, so we'll force it upon you. That is the best kind of book friend. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look, look, it's, oh, it's just gorgeous. So what else did you do? Because this is heavy. And this is the one I rescued from the street outside because the Amazon driver didn't seem to want to deliver that day. So this has been through the works. It's hurting my hand to hold it, it's that heavy. So what on earth is this? Oh my God, more stickers. This just says happy birthday, love you from Faith. And it is the Bibliophobia stickers, which you can never, ever have too many stickers. These will definitely be used. <laughs> Thank you, Faith. Okay, and then after all that, a slight, a slight gap from books because I do not believe there are gonna be any books in here, but I still just wanna share all of the birthday loveliness with you guys. So these presents are from a lovely lady called Helen at work. And when I leave my job, like I am gonna miss Helen so much. So I can see what this is because she wrapped it in tissue paper. And I just didn't even know that this was a flavor of dairy milk, but it's dairy milk orange. We have what I would presume is mini Prosecco. Oh, Prosecco Rosé? Smashed it, Helen. I think this is sweet because I think I can see squashies. Love it, we have some Star Mix and some squashies. These will be demolished in the car, I'm sure. And then this one, which is adorable and I don't know what it is. It's either, I think it's like a block of chocolate. It has to be, right? No, it's not. Oh my God. She's made me some Chloe Reed's books coasters. How cute is that? Oh my God. What? It turns out there was something book related. I'm blown away. Thank you, Helen. Okay, and then this is for my auntie and uncle. I'm seeing a can of alcohol, so we're already on board. We have a pink gin and tonic, the third one of the last 12 hours. Love it. This, this tissue paper is gorgeous. We have some bath bombs, I love it. I have no idea. A hand painted gin glass? Excuse me, how cute? What? Oh, that's gorgeous. That is so nice. Okay, so those are all the presents I have here. I'm sure I will catch up with you later when I'm sure I will get some more. <laughs> Hello, hello. I filmed nothing in Gloucester apart from my Nando's. Um, it's fine, I'll try and film more tonight. Um, but I just came home to this. So we know it's flowers from Moonpig, which means it's flowers from Victoria. And I sent her a voice note and I was like, what did you do? I hope she doesn't mind me playing this. So I, I have her voice notes on 1.5 times speed because it's Victoria. Like I know what she sounds like. Um, this is what it starts with. <laughs> Open it. Just that little mischievous giggle. Oh my God. Okay, there is a card. She's just the sweetest. Victoria is just the sweetest. Okay. Oh my God. I'm crying. <laughs> These are gorgeous. I do not deserve Victoria. We've established this before. Check out my weekly vlog if you haven't yet. Um, these roses are gorgeous. I don't want to touch anything to like dis- We have pink roses. <laughs> I always cry when Victoria gets me flowers. Look at this, it's just so damn cute. It's so cute. <sighs> I'm gonna put these in a vase now. I just cry some more. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I love you, Victoria, you're too good. <laughs> and the second that I clicked stop, two Amazon parcels arrived. Um, one of these is from Crazy Mal. I've just been spoilt rotten, just spoilt rotten. I, I have no words anymore. <gasps> oh, yes, I know what this is just from the top of it. Wait, oh, there's more in here. It is The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which is the fourth book in the From Blood and Nash series. And the mild liners I really wanted. These are brush pens, not highlighters. Oh my God, that's exciting. Okay. Amy! 
I didn't realize Amy would be sending this. Um, so the note with this one says, sorry if this is a bit late, but happy birthday. It's literally my birthday, Amy. I know you recently read another book in this series and gave it five stars, so I hope you enjoy this one too. See you when I come back from the US, you lovely human. Amy, you are the lovely human. And then with the pens, it says, I love your journal content so much, and I know you're always on the hunt for pens to annotate your book, so I just had to get you these as well. Have a lovely birthday. Amy, what a fantastic human you are. And you've already messaged me from the US to say happy birthday, so thank you for having me in your brain today um and then this one is heavy it's chunky i know exactly what's in here actually at the weight i know what i put on my wish list i'm gonna have to keep these from my dad oh actually these are from freya we found out these are from freya um just as a point this isn't what i thought i mean it is but what's this a dowry of blood but it's not the edition that's there but I love this edition. I mean, it's one of those annoying ones that your fingerprints stick to, but that's fine. That's just a pet peeve of mine. But isn't this cute? That is not what I thought this was gonna look like. Okay, who is this from? Because I can see the other thing already. So these are from Crazy Mel. And it says, happy birthday. You have no idea how much you've helped me the last two years just by making me smile. Mel, you know you're in trouble anyway. I will get everyone to call you Melanie. I will, I will. Because the other thing that's in here, that's weighing this down is a kilo of chocolate. This is great. So this is, um, I don't think it's gonna focus. Chocolate sweets, a massive kilo box of them because you can never have too much chocolate. So, oh, there's another note, there's another note. Happy birthday, oh, same note. <laughs> I was gonna read it out again. Mal, you are the best human. Everyone here is the best human. Um, I cannot believe just how great everyone's been for me today um you're all amazing you're all literally amazing okay and now i've actually controlled myself i was actually trying to show you what i bought today i wasn't expecting more presents the second i got home the non-fun presents that i just got myself were the two mystery bars of cadbury's i know the flavors have been released for these but i kind of like them i like the mystery still i found some washi tape for a pound and i gave in to two tiktok books um, I'm fully classing them as TikTok books, seeing as it's where I've seen them. Um, literally the only place I have seen them is TikTok. Um, I try not to get into the book top, book top hype, but it caught me on these. The first one is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. This was only five pound in the works and I found it, got it for myself. What can I say? Um, I, I won't talk fully about books as you know because otherwise it'd be a forever and the other one I've seen on TikTok that I was so excited by is King of Wrath by Anna Huang um, which is the author of the Twisted Games, Twisted Love, whatever series and um, yeah only £6 so I spent £11 on two books but they're both ones that I've seen going around and they look really cool so if you can't treat yourself on your birthday when can you? I'm home. Um, it is like 10 o'clock on my birthday. I have another Amazon parcel to open. A few people have messaged me to let me know presents are arriving like over the next couple days. Um, so they'll just be in my normal weekly vlog. So you will actually see those before you see these. Anyway, I believe this is from the lovely Emily. It is because I recognize one of the books straight away. There is no way anyone but Emily could have bought me these. So she got me six stories, oh that's loud, by Matt Weselowski and I had never ever heard of this book until Emily read it. So the note says, happy birthday Chloe, how can I not get you six stories after really enjoying it last year? Highly recommend the audiobook. I also got you, oh wait, it won't allow notes, but <laughs> it came in the same parcel because the other one she got me is The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. I am not in focus, but I've wanted to read this for the longest time. This is um, like the TV show, The Haunting of Hill House, is. this is what it's based on. So um, two really interesting different books, which these match Emily. Emily has like weird books and then rom-com is how I picture Emily's reading. So these match Emily's vibe in my brain. I 
need to drink some more. I only had one drink when I was out and uh, I would like more. So I have a gin and tonic to crack into. Uh, let me show you some more presents, why don't I? So we have the remains of a Sammy the Sloth cake. I'll be eating this for the foreseeable. Potentially the cutest Michael Kors beanie. I love it, I love it. My nan had the extremely creative idea of a book filled with Ferrero Rochers. It's in the box now, but I'll have to show it in a weekly vlog when I put it up. My sister got me a Percy Pig neon sign, so where that is going, I don't know. I ended up with two vinyls. So the one uh, that is not bookish is Luke Holmes, what you see is what you get. I'm going to the Luke Holmes tour in October, um, so I wanted some vinyls. So this is starting my collection, and I think I'm gonna buy another. I got um, a bit of money from a family friend, and she wants me to spend it on Amazon, she was gonna get an Amazon gift card. So I'm gonna get another Luke Holmes vinyl. So I have this one. And then, we have music from the Twilight Saga, performed by the City of Prague Phil Philharmonic Orchestra. I can't say that word. So yeah, this is literally, Bella's Lullaby, Lion Fell in Love with the Lamb, um, there's one called Memories of Edward, The Meadow, Marry Me Bella, so I think this is going to be a really good reading playlist. But yes, vinyls, um, and a coffee machine. So I, I'm not going to set it up right now, but I will probably be using it within the next 24 hours, let's be realistic, and um, do love a coffee machine. So I have an espresso machine now. Um, I've rambled on for a bit longer. I guess I'm gonna get a drink and read. I guess that's what I'm doing for the rest of my birthday. I don't know.